In the world of Linux, there is no shortage of options when it comes to choosing a daily driver. There are usually big names like Ubuntu, Fedora and Arch. And then there's this one distro that for me quietly stands out above the rest. Today I want to share why PopOS has become my go-to operating system for daily work, development and even a bit of gaming. And along the way you might find it's something worth trying for yourself too. So first and probably the most importantly, PopOS is built on Ubuntu LTS which means it inherits a rock solid stable base with excellent software availability and a huge helpful community behind it. If you have ever run into a problem on Linux, you know how valuable that community can be and with PopOS you get access to all those resources, guides and tutorials made for Ubuntu. It just makes life easier. One of the things I really appreciate about PopOS is how well it handles NVIDIA graphic cards. Unlike many other distributions, PopOS offers separate ISO for NVIDIA and non-NVIDIA systems. If your machine has an NVIDIA card, you can simply grab the NVIDIA ISO and everything just works right after the install. No extra driver installations, no terminal commands, no black screens. It's clean, simple and reliable. And this actually makes it a really smart choice for AI and machine learning developers too, who often rely on NVIDIA GPUs for accelerated computing. Having those drivers set up properly right from the start is such a relief. Now if you are using a laptop with both integrated and dedicated graphics, PopOS has a fantastic hybrid graphics mode. You can switch between the integrated and dedicated GPUs or run into hybrid mode where system uses your integrated card by default and the dedicated GPU only kicks in for specific apps you choose. It's similar to Nvidia Optimus on Windows but with more control and you can even right click an app and select launch using dedicated graphics card. It's so convenient especially for those moments when you need that extra performance. For productivity, I can't say enough good things about PopShell, the built-in tiling window manager. It automatically arranges your windows neatly on the screen and you can manage them with simple keyboard shortcuts. If you have never tried tiling before, it's surprisingly efficient. It keeps your workspace organized and once you get used to it, going back to traditional floating window setup feels kind of messy. Another thing I love is how well PopOS handles app installations. It supports Flatpak and app images out of the box. Also you can install snap packages. That means you can easily install the latest software versions or apps that are not available in the regular package repositories with just a few clicks. It takes away so much of the friction that sometimes comes with Linux app management. And for those of you working on laptops, battery life on PopOS is generally impressive. Thanks to that hybrid graphics mode, your dedicated GPU only powers up when it's needed, which means you get more screen time when you are browsing, writing or coding. It's a thoughtful, practical feature that makes a real difference, especially if you are traveling or working away from a charger. And lastly, I just appreciate the way PopOS looks and feels. It has clean modern user interface that's distraction free but it's still polished. The design language is minimal without feeling bare and everything feels consistent and smooth. It's a kind of the desktop that lets you focus on your work while still being enjoyable to look at throughout the day. So those are the reasons why PopOS has become my daily driver. It's stable, it's clean, it's developer friendly and it just works especially if you are running NVIDIA hardware or doing AI and machine learning tasks. If you have been thinking about trying a Linux or if you are hunting for a new distro to settle into, I would generally recommend giving PopOS a try. And I hope you found this video helpful and if so please like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for more Linux tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.